Hey guys, welcome to the new pre market analysis. No, that's cap. That's cap. Welcome to a new forecast. I actually wanted to do a uh, back test session, but I don't know. Oh, my neck hurts. So let's first do the forecast because that's way more important because we already have enough data that my edge works. I just wanted to do some more charting. Yeah, my hair looks like shit. I have a, in Dutch, it's called a silver wedding when you're, um, when you're together with someone for 25 years and I have to go there and I don't want to go there. So, but, so I have to make myself ready after this, but we have more than enough time. So first let's do a forecast. <clears throat> And before we do the forecast, we're going to clean up, get everything nice and clean because we can't work whoops, without clean charts. Um, what's that? I think I should extend that. Yes, I should. High, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. Premium reach, that can go as well. Actually... Yeah, that was for that and for that minor internal range. Then we took that. Now we have a previous low. And we have a weekly low there. I don't know if I will do it for G. Uh, of course, I can do it for GU. All capping. So lonely. I miss her lonely. Sorry. Um, top. This can go as well. I have so much energy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There. I think this is a previous day, yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's go to the weekly. See how we rank on the key level? Called it. Well, it was not that hard to call it, but still called it. Um, <laughs> that up there. There you go. Go to the one hour. Stretch it. Put that there. Nice. Ooh, that's good. So, for my forecast today, it's Saturday. The 19th of August. And welcome to a new forecast. We're going to start on EU. And we're just going to go from higher time frame to lower time frame, sticking to this paper thingy, which is on my desk for more than half a year since I started making the videos. I sometimes use it, sometimes I don't. Uh, you can clearly see the videos when I don't use it. No, that's cap because it's going pretty well. The recordings are quite good. I'm um, all right. Um, um, satisfied with it but yeah let's dive into it let's focus on my english accent no so weekly what can we see we had that rejection candle or that um don't move the charts this um yeah kind of doji inducing candle inducing why inducing because we went lower after but it it left that large wick uh, we were in discount pricing, so I was expecting price to turn around from there. Um, thing we can add already right now is that we have, oh, well, that's quite some distance, but high time frame equals there. I don't know why there's another line. So in a, for that liquidity wise, I already see that or uh, think that we will take these lows. And with that, we have a new weekly POI that sits below that. So, of course, when we go lower, we can see that there's more to it. But we got that weekly, just, just in the weekly. Look how clean this already looks. If you're a high time for swing trader, look at this. Just be patient. Let, let's say you take trades on the weekly. So, you barely take trades. You have a huge time frame. So, it's most likely the trades will play out. Let's say you take um with that knowing that you like take trades every I don't know. This was February 
like let's say you take five trades a year if you just take the weekly you can risk a shit ton on a trade let's say 10 percent on a trade because you take five trades and you just go for the next high and you make 40 percent of one trade you're done you're done that easy that simple but yeah going to the daily what can we see well this is already mitigated but we can refine it uh it's not refinable um this is a weekly py maybe we can get um to the four hour yeah so there's more than enough in the four hour i would say to start with that one mm -hmm. yeah That one as well. Oh, that's right. Top in. Yeah. Um. All right. So forecast wise, we can see that on the weekly we had that. Um. After a candle, we can see that we had we took the highs, and what can we see then that we closed fairly strong, although we didn't take the lows, but we closed fairly strong, and then this week, strong close to the downside, so, uh, minor wick, uh, left. But if we look on Friday, or this entire move was caused on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday were all correctional. Why? I think we're going to induce buyers with this slowdown. Um, yeah, so we got that slowdown. Just working. Nope. Thought if you do it like this, and go like that, you could mark on structure, but I was completely wrong. Anyway, okay, wait, let me try it one more time. Figured it out. Um, yeah, with that, we can see that we're building up liquidity on the daily. Well, I think we might either get something like this or we just take the lows first, then we take that liquidity. Then people think we will continue. We either take the lows or we respect this area and then we continue up higher. That was horrible. But this liquidity buildup is super interesting because um, although we are not taking out highs, look at this candle. Just take a lot so why do I need to be so extra? It just it took so much time. Look, we closed here, we didn't take it. Here we closed above, and then finally on Thursday with the news, we just took it, but not very positively. Then we have an indecisive candle at Friday. There was no news. Um, so yeah, if we go lower, it's probably more visible because that's the structure I marked on. There we go. High, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, low, low, lower, high, lower, low. I think this will be taken out. And whether it's going to happen on Monday and whether it's going to happen before taking these lows or after taking these lows uh, or before taking these lows. So first up here and then get the move down or first down here and then get the move up. It doesn't matter really because we can just play our most recent structure. And ideally, in a good scenario, I want to see this taken out first. Because then we took the liquidity, we took the equals, we took previous daily lows, previous weekly lows, probably Asia low as well. And then moving long is such a sick opportunity because then we take weekly internal range liquidity and we can move from there. We got liquidity to the upside. It's in line with structure, everything. So looking for longs below these lows is more than valid. valid. We don't need... Um, 50 minute realignment i think you can look for trades instantly after that although if we move in momentum you got to be a little bit careful because we don't know how far we will go in this empty space but yeah that's this is the place to look for longs so yeah and this is still the place to look for shorts why we got that inducement that slow down inducing buyers and then look for so we induce but we induce buyers and then we can look for it short if we want that, for, oh, we already had that inducement here. I wanted to say we, because you had that 
the structure. And then the inducement, bullish break, bearish break. But, so we already got the uh, early buyers here. Otherwise, I would say this would be early buyers, take out these highs, then take out the lows, then that continuation. High time frame uh, inducement. But that already happened. We have our inducement here ready. So I think this will be the real move. And that's my forecast because now we have we come closer to higher time frame area, so we don't need to go that low. Um, but if we want to go lower, I would say follow these structures we marked or I marked out over here. Um, this is not looking very good or impulsive. This led to the downside, but with the liquidity to the downside, nothing is looking great for longs and short or nothing's. Never mind. We got um. <laughs> here nice interesting area that sits above that liquidity the previous 80 highs we got equals there so i think we for monday we can look for these highs to be taken out and then we can look for shorts i won't look for shorts before that why because the that's what this equals um on another note we have liquidity to the downside here as well so let's see which site will be taken out first. Ideally, we take out the highs first and then get the low because of liquidity. Uh, we already took into an arranged liquidity here, but with those equals here above, I think we will go for that as well. So for Monday, I'm looking to trade from above here. Um, I'm not looking too long from here into here, because that will be uh, against the structure. It will be very minor. It will be high, low, lower high, lower low, bullish break, discount, continuation. And I don't see that happening. That's too minor because we already got into the structure. Um, we got those uh, lows over here. So I'm not really a fan of that. So I will wait for these highs to be taken and then that further continuation down. Um, then we have GU, and GU is looking great. GU is looking good, although we gotta hold that up to oh, doesn't let me there. Um, but other than that. Whoa, is this Monday? Whoops, I still got Monday lows on. That's, I think this liquidity will still be taken, taken out. We got that structure realignment here. I think yawn yet. That's that's sick. That's next level. And now did I when I said that? Oh, it's so strange that it works like that. Yeah, okay, so we took these, uh, we got the bearish break, structure realignment, very interesting, did a market on, but I couldn't, could see it myself already. Previous daily lows, previous daily highs, uh, weekly wise, this is our new weekly high. Thank you. Uh, is this Monday? My new weekly low, oh, interesting, we EU having uh, previous weekly lows to the downside as well. So, might take that out. What's this? Nice. Hold up one second. Have fun. All right, sorry, distraction. Um, so oh, I marked it out wrong. Mm -mm -mm, got that, got that. Liquidity is still valid. So now I'm going to do it like this. Knowing that we have the trend line there. 
And let's look at the weekly on GU. So GU actually closed bullish, but whack, whack break. So I think these lows will be taken again, or this might be liquidity gap and a turnaround. That's a shit thing with EU and GU. That's why I prefer. I should actually take a completely opposite or different pair than EU, but still has like the where the entry just where the same entry drill entry drill works. So ooh, ooh, ooh I didn't click that. Nice. So same entry drill, uh, but completely different pair. Daily wise. Correctional to the upside, correctional to the downside at last candle. This is a nice candle that's showing us uh, intention. This is a candle that showing us reversal. So bit indecisive, but we're looking for further continuation down on EU. So I will look for further continuation down on GU as well from this area we're in right now. Um, EU, we want to take those equals. Um which is good because I want to see slightly higher pricing on GU as well. I'm not taking previous daily highs. We already took the internal range liquidity, but if we go to the 15, um, high, low, interesting. So ideally from this one, um, this one, that one, that cross, that's a liquidity. Get the move like that. So, get a move like this. That was so ugly, but you get the. Okay. That was not my fault, but it was, but get a move like this. Big internal range liquidity, get into that 50%. So let's mark that out as well. And then move from, that's what I thought. Move from there. That's a nice 50 minute supply zone. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> and that's what I'm looking at for GU, basically. And high time frame wise, um, because of EU with those equals, I think we will take the lows or we will continue further down. Um, same for GU as an EU. Um, this is looking like nice liquidity pull to be taken and then get moved from the area below that. So that's what I'm looking at for GU. And DXY, finally, we can just stay on the high time frame. We took these highs. We come into this um, daily supply zone <clears throat> after breaking these lows. And uh, yeah, looking at the same thing. These highs to be taken and then take the lows. Took the highs. We got that. Wack closure, that bullish closure, but not looking bullish at all. And I think we will move from here. And pretty much same story as on, uh, oh, wait, but if you go lower on DXY, that would mean higher on EU and GU. So I first want to see higher pricing on DXY. Lower pricing on DXY, slightly lower. So EU and GU can move up. So that will be something like this, then like that, then like that. That's my forecast for GU, for DXY. And I didn't use this at all, but I covered structures, I covered liquidity, I covered the high, covered the high time from candles, uh, price behavior, how the candles closed. Um, we covered uh, my bias, any fake ranges. We covered that on EU. On GU, we don't have that many fake ranges. Mm. Impulse, correctional. I'm looking for a continuation down. 
NDXY correction on the way up. Um, looking for that minor move to the downside. So we get that minor move to the upside. Then that, um, looking for a big, sorry, minor move to the downside. So yeah, so we get the minor move to the upside and the higher move to the upside. So we get the bearish break on EU and then that strong push to the downside, uh, which would move to a very impulsive push after taking these lows to the upside and invalidating this range. That's my forecast and I'm going to leave it like that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the market. So good luck. Have fun. This looks like shit. I know. And uh. Peace out.